Are you a beginner who has just started strength training or you're looking to start a body recomposition journey? You've got your body recomposition workout plan all designed and you're ready to go, but you want to make sure that you're using the best reps, sets, and rest time in order to get the best results in your body recomposition. In this video, I'm going to explain what are sets and what are the best number of sets per exercise to do to make sure you're getting the most out of your strength training sessions and same for reps. What are reps and what are the optimal amount of reps that you should be doing per exercise in order to build lean muscle and decrease body fat. And then I'm going to talk about the importance of rest times between sets and what an optimal rest time looks like based on your specific goals. And make sure you watch all the way to the end because I'm going to give you a sample beginner body recomposition workout plan, including recommended sets, reps, and rest times if you are looking to get started on your body recomposition journey. But let's get right into it. But of course, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you get a notification when I release a new video every single week. My name is Michelle Roots, kinesiologist, personal trainer, nutrition coach, and fitness and fat loss motivation specialist. I have over 16 years experience in the industry helping people blast body fat, get stronger, get leaner, and become the best versions of themselves, and I want to help you next. And by creating this channel, I'm hoping to help even more people reach their fitness and fat loss goals. Okay, let's get right into it, but I just want to touch base. I am not going to be specific about what body recomposition is. If you are looking to learn more about what a body recomposition even is, check out this video already on my channel. I'll link that in the description below. I also have a few other videos talking about if you can body recomposition at home or how long a body recomposition will take in order to decrease your body fat and build lean muscle. You can check out those videos as well. I'll link that in the description below too. But we're going to focus more here on the sets and the reps and the rest time in order to get the most out of your strength training workout. So let's start by talking about reps. What is a rep anyway? A rep can also be known as a repetition and is pretty much one complete exercise. So for example, let's talk about a squat. One squat equals going down, going back up. That is one repetition. Going up and down five times equals five reps or five repetitions. So now we know what reps are. What is a set? A set is described of a group of repetitions performed continuously without stopping. So now we've got reps, we've got sets, how many reps and how many sets should we be doing of each exercise to really increase lean muscle mass and decrease body fat in a body recomposition? There's a lot of different research out there and a lot of different beliefs into set numbers, rep numbers, but in the end, I'm going to give you the most basic sets and reps because again, I'm talking to you as if you were a beginner and you're just really starting to focus on your progressive overload and getting into a progressive training plan. So these are the sets and reps that you should be looking at starting. So let's talk about reps first. Basically, there are a few different ways to determine how many reps you should be doing based on your goal. So if you are looking to build muscular endurance, you're probably going to go in the 12 plus rep range of specific exercises. If you're looking to build muscular size and strength, which most likely you're looking to do in a body recomposition, you want to stay around the six to 12 or six to 10 rep range. And then if you're looking to build more muscular strength and power, either you're a power lifter or you're an elite athlete, you might stay in the one to five rep range. If you are a beginner and you were looking to start a body recomposition, you're just looking to build muscular strength and build more lean muscle in order to decrease your body fat, a great rep range to start would be in six to 10, six to eight rep range. And just for the sake of keeping this video nice and short, I'm not going to talk about sets and reps and rest time for muscular endurance or muscular power. We're going to stay focused on the muscular size and muscular strength, which again is the main focus for a body recomposition. So there you go. We're looking to do about six to 10 reps of each exercise, but how many sets should we be doing? The best recommended number of sets for beginners starting a body recomposition would be between three to five sets of each exercise. There are also a lot of factors that will come into this, such as how much time you have available for your workout, how many times a week you are strength training. If you're only going to the gym three days a week and you only have 40 minutes or 45 minutes to get your workout in, doing five sets of every exercise might not be realistic for you because you're gonna be limited as to how many exercises you can actually get into your workout. Now I'll talk about this a little bit more when we touch base a little bit later on the body recomposition workout plan but there are so many ways to look at this. So now we know each exercise we should be doing about six to 10 reps for three to five sets. Now this can be built into a workout plan in so many different ways. A lot of people use supersets. I talk all about supersets in this video right here. I'll link that in the description below. It's a great way to be more time efficient in your workouts and really hit more muscle groups or 
really challenge your muscles in a different way. And we're talking about the rep ranges of six to 12. The way I like to explain this to my clients, we talk a lot about progressive overload. So when you're looking at that six to 10 rep range, I talk all about progressive overload in this video. I'll link that in the description below if you wanna know more about it and you wanna make sure that you're challenging yourself enough in the workouts. But I'll just quickly touch base. Six to 10 reps is the recommended rep range. So for example, if I have a client who's doing a barbell bench press, they go to the gym, say they put 15 pounds on each side of the bar, that's 75 pounds, and they're able to do three sets of eight reps of a barbell bench press. That's great, they're right in that recommended rep range and they're maxing out on that last rep, on the eighth rep, they aren't able to push to a nine, they might have to compensate their form to get to those last ninth or 10th rep, then we're in a good range. The following week they come back, they put 75 back on the bar and they're able to do three sets of 10 reps, solid 10 reps. That's where I would come in and be like, okay, that's great. Next week, when you do this barbell bench press, I want you to add five pounds, either two and a half pounds on each side to bring them from 75 to 80 pounds. Usually on a bench press, you don't want to go up too much because it five pounds can feel like a lot. Um, or if they feel comfortable, they can add five pounds on each side, go from 75 to 85. And then maybe they're able to do three sets of six at that higher weight, that's perfect. Then we're challenging them. And then the next week they're able to do three sets of eight at that higher weight. And this is how you continue to challenge yourself and get stronger. And that's why we put the rep range in there. So you're not gonna stop at six if you can do eight. You're gonna keep going and that's how you really know if you're lifting the right amount of weight and that's how you're gonna continue to get stronger and build lean muscle in turn decrease body fat, yada, yada, yada. So when we're looking at sets, if you are a beginner, three sets of an exercise is more than enough to get the benefits. As you get to get more advanced and you start to get stronger, we can start to challenge you more. We can start to add five sets of squats at the beginning of your leg day, five sets of deadlifts at the beginning of your leg day with ample rest time in between each. And then you can go into some accessory work after that with three sets of those exercises, but starting out with the five sets of the bigger lifts. Again, this all comes down to the way your workout is structured, but for the basic beginner, starting with three sets is totally fine. In that six to 10 rep range, you will still get benefits for sure. Okay, now let's talk about rest time. So this is definitely something that's often overlooked. So I'm specifically referring to rest time between exercises. So what are the benefits of resting between exercises? I think it's pretty straightforward and understanding after I do a really heavy set of a barbell bench press, my muscles are gonna be really tired and maxed out and I need to let them rest and recover in order to be able to go back in and push again for another set. So allowing your muscles to rest for a specific amount of time between exercises will help with force production in the next set and allow you to get the most out of your workout. So you'll really be able to push that strength in your second set, again, rest, push that strength again in your third set to help with building muscle, getting stronger. So how long should we be resting between sets? Again, we are talking to the beginner who is looking for a body recomposition. You are a beginner to strength training and you're just looking to get stronger and build muscle. 60 to 90 seconds between sets. We do our barbell bench press. We bang out our eight reps. We're gonna rest for 60 to 90 seconds. You're just gonna sit there, don't do anything. Go back into your next set after 60 to 90 seconds. You're gonna bang out your second set. Rest for 60 to 90 seconds for three to five sets. A lot of people just wanna blow through their workouts and rush them and these rest times are very important. But again, I will say it, it depends on the structure of your workout. Let's talk about supersets again. If you are doing maybe an upper and lower superset, that's where we use the supersets to be beneficial in order to get through more exercise in your workout in a less amount of time. So you would do your bench press exercise and then during your rest time for your bench press, you could work on a barbell deadlift and then during your barbell deadlift rest time, you could go back to your bench press. So you're working opposing muscle groups. So your chest muscles are actually resting a little bit while you're doing your deadlift. So that's how we intertwine supersets for people who don't have a lot of time at the gym or to just be more effective. You're also gonna get a little bit more cardiovascular out of that. Again, I don't wanna go too much into supersets because I have a whole video talking about the benefits of it, but that's where you wanna be more aware of your rest times. So these rest times are in your strength workouts. If you were doing more of a HIIT workout or a metabolic workout, that's gonna be more of your muscular endurance and you're probably gonna take way less breaks because you're really looking to challenge yourself. But in your strength focused workouts, 
These rest times are very, very important as much as the sets and the reps and the progressive overload and all the things. Let's talk about a body recomposition workout plan for a beginner of what a week of your workouts might look like. So if you are a beginner, let's say you're gonna do a four day split, meaning you're gonna do two upper body workouts and two lower body workouts throughout the week. So let's look at Monday would be an upper body strength day. And then maybe after your upper body strength day, you would do some low impact steady state cardio, meaning I have a video all about zone two cardio, I'll link that in the description below, but that's just gonna help you get a little bit extra calorie burn and get some more movement in. 20 to 30 minutes. With your upper body strength workout, you're gonna pick about eight exercises. You're gonna do three to four sets of each exercise, again, based on the time you have available. And you're gonna stay in that six to 10 or six to 12 rep range. So you're gonna do three to four sets of each of those exercises in that six to 12 or six to 10 rep range. And then between each set, you're gonna do 60 to 90 second rest. So now we look at Tuesday is gonna be your lower body strength day. You're gonna do pretty much the same. You're gonna pick eight lower body strength exercises. If you wanna know more about how to pick your exercises, I have a video about how to build your strength training program for the gym. I'll link that in the description below. I also have a video talking about the top seven compound exercises you should be doing, which should be included into your upper body and lower body workouts as well. I'll also link that in the description below too. So you've got your lower body exercises, you pick your eight, you're gonna do three to four sets of each exercise. That's six to 10 or six to 12 rep range with 60 to 90 second rest between sets. Wednesday, you're gonna take a break from your strength. You're gonna do a short HIIT workout with some core exercises, maybe pick three to four core exercises, do a little circuit. You can stay in that six to 12 rep range and your HIIT workout is gonna be about 20 to 25 minutes, short but very intense intervals. That could be a body weight session. I've got lots of great follow along HIIT workouts already on my channel that requires zero equipment. You can go check those out. It can also be done on a piece of cardio equipment. Then Thursday, you're gonna go back to your upper body workout. You're gonna do some lower impact steady state cardio again. Friday is your lower body day. Saturday is another HIIT and core workout. But if you find you're really sore from the week, that could also just be a long walk. Totally fine, hit up some zone two cardio and some core workout if you want. And then Sunday would be a complete rest day. So that is a beginner strength training workout plan. That's what it can look like. If you're only doing three days of strength, you can do an upper body workout, a lower body workout, and a full body strength workout where you take maybe four upper body exercises and four lower body exercises and combine those and then just add an extra rest day into your plan. So instead of having one rest day, you're gonna have two rest days if you're just a beginner. So there you go, guys. I hope this was helpful. A lot of you have been asking my comments or in my Instagram DMs about sets and reps and rest time and if you are doing it correctly. I hope this answered your questions and helped you out. If you're looking for a full eight week follow along workout plan, you can find out more about that in the description below. It's a full eight week program. It's got a three day split or a four day split, dumbbells, or gym, whichever you have available, you can pick the option that works best for you. And it will take you through a full eight weeks, so two four week phases of strength training workouts to really get you started and understand what it's like to follow a specific training plan to make the most out of your workouts. Or if you're looking for personalized one-on-one -on -one fitness and nutrition coaching, you can also learn more about how to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. So thanks so much for watching guys. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with anyone you think might benefit from this information and leave any questions in the comments below. I'm always happy to help and I'll see you guys next week.